Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be talking about wiring up a GC3 panel. Now the GC3 panel is a mainly wireless system, so there's not too much wiring that's involved. Uh, main wiring is obviously the power supply. You can wire an external siren into the panel, and uh, you do have two zones to do uh, hardwired sensors as well. Those are either going to be normally open or normally closed. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it and go over it. So to start off, obviously the power so as you can see here, we're using an LT cable. So we have a barrel connection right there. So we don't really even need to use the wired terminals. And then you can see on the transformer, we have red going to positive, black going to negative. Uh, obviously in this case, it doesn't really matter too much that we match that with this because it's just going into the barrel connector. Now, if you don't have the barrel connector or if you're just using a regular wire, uh, pretty much what you do is you're gonna be doing positive to terminal number one and then negative to terminal number two. So you'll have power plus, power negative, terminal one, terminal two, positive, positive, negative, negative, so on and so forth. Uh, there is also the backup battery. There's not much wiring with that. There's a little port right there where you can pop this little wire into. I just have it disconnected to show you you know, the barrel connector and all that. Uh, let's see, so as mentioned, you can use normally open, normally closed contacts. You can even use end of line. Uh, if you use end of line, you're gonna need a 2.2K uh, resistor in order to use that. And for the actual types of switches, it's mainly magnetic read switches. So uh, best example is door contacts, window contacts, anything that's normally closed or normally opened. Uh, those can get wired into zones one, or zones two, which do share a common ground, uh, but you could also use the secondary ground as well if you didn't want to share a common. So you cannot use hardwired smokes, you can't use hardwired carbon detectors, uh, you can't use hardwired motions, you cannot use hardwired glass breaks. Uh, mainly just the door contacts is what you can hardwire into the system. Everything else is wireless, so if you want smokes, carbon, uh, glass breaks, so on and so forth, go wireless for those. So the siren, you can uh, wire in as well. You see a bell plus and a bell negative. So obviously plus for positive, negative for negative. Uh, for the siren, the max that you can do is a 14 VDC at 500 milliamps. Uh, so you basically just wire it into there. Once the alarm sounds, obviously power is getting fed to those two terminals and then sending that over to the actual siren itself uh, for the sounding. And then once the alarm is disarmed, power gets cut to those two, silencing the alarm. You can only use solid state sounders on these, um, somewhat limited. Uh, if you go pretty much anything besides that, you do have a risk of damaging the actual controller itself, so solid state only. Uh, and then obviously, you know, negative, negative, positive to positive, same as power. So for the power wire, there are some recommendations. Uh, the main is 22 gauge wire. You can do a maximum of 50 feet with that. Uh, if you go with 20 gauge wire, you can do a maximum of 80 feet. And if you do 19 gauge wire, max is 110 feet. And then finally, 18 gauge wire, max is 125 feet. The 22 gauge is usually the one that's recommended even though it has the shorter um, length that you can go. So, we've already gone over basically the, uh, the wiring of the power. Uh, terminal six right here, zone one, zone two, shared ground as mentioned. And not really much else. There are a couple terminals behind this. These aren't really used too much. So it has terminal options if you wanted to do wired smokes. However, um, as far as we're aware and from the most updated documents, those aren't even active. Most of these aren't even gonna be used. So majority of the time, if you're doing any wiring in this, it's gonna be on this side. Of course, obviously with the power, unless you have the LT cable, uh, the external siren, and then the zone. So that's gonna be your main wiring for the system. Everything else, strictly wireless, very, very simple. Uh, if you did wanna learn more about the GC3 or the GC2, more about wiring and more about the sensors, you can check out our website, www.alarmgrid.com. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you wanna be notified whenever we release more content, hit the bell notification down there. Thank you very much and have a good day.